Hello everyone, this is a short video just to show you how to get the most out of the basic functions in Teams and just to make sure that you're not missing on any, out on anything that could be quite useful for you. So what I've got open for you on my um, screen is my own Teams and when you open up your Teams it will look something similar like to that with your um, with your classes there. What I want to draw your attention to first is this little bar down the left hand side because on there you can, there are your shortcuts that are going to take you through to different things. So um, your teams, your assignments, um, and also your calendar. So I just want to um, click on calendar. I'm going to fast forward through a few to um, a few weeks because I've set up a few pretend lessons just so that I can best model how to use the calendar. Now, it's probably a really good idea. I would recommend that when you open up Teams in the morning to start your day, that you actually open up the calendar first of all and keep your keep it open at your calendar um, whenever you're not on a on a call, because what you'll see there is all of those lessons that have been scheduled. It tells you whenever there's a live lesson, then you'll be invited by your teachers into those um, live lessons. And whenever that live lesson is about to begin, there'll be a little join go um, pop up in the right hand side of the live lesson box and you click on that and it takes you straight through to your lesson. It's useful to have your calendar open because then you can plan your day, you can see what live lessons that you've got and you can work around those. So keep your calendar open while ever you're not on a call. The other thing to be aware of is that the chat function here is quite useful if you've got some work that you're not really sure about, you're not really sure how to do it, but you don't really want to put that in the whole team chat for your class, then you can use the chat function to ask your teacher um, privately just to say, I don't really understand this work, can you explain it for me? So you can use the, the chat function that way. If we go back to Teams, um, I've created a an imaginary class, which is a class made up of some of your teachers um, and other members of staff in school um, just to model for you the different um, functions that we want you to get used to using. So when I open up that team, you'll notice that it takes you straight through to the general posts page. So this is what you'll be used to using because it will be um, the way that you ask your teacher any questions that you might need to ask. What I just want to pause for a moment to, to point out to you is that it's really useful if you do like Miss Pallant's done and said, I've seen the assignment, but I'm a bit stuck. Could you help me? Um, and that's just a really quick way to ask your teacher a question about that week's assignment and your teacher can get back to you as quickly as possible. So that's really quite useful. What's not so useful is um, spamming the, the posts and the chat with GIFs, okay? Um, so just be aware that the more you put in this general posts page, the, the more difficult it is to find those really important posts. So if we have a look a bit further up, um, there's an assignment here that's been posted and then it posts into that general post page. So it's quick and easy to find the assignment. You just click on it, it opens up the assignment and you can get started. But if we've got loads and loads of um, kind of not so useful stuff in that post page, then it does um, make it difficult for people. The other thing to be aware of as well is just be kind to each other in here because we've got um, a few people that are posting um, some not so pleasant things. So just be aware that everybody can see those those, cho the, those chat posts. So um, just be mindful of that. We've also got um, some probably not so useful questions or suggestions such as Mr Cox can't um, do the work because a pet parrot ate it uh, and Mr Hardy can't do the work because bargain hunts on. Um, so obviously things like that not really that useful for other people to know. They might look funny but they fill up the, uh, the posts so just be aware of that. And the last thing on the general post that I'm going to point your attention to is Mr Fuller's comment here, because what he's done is he has submitted his work just in general posts, which, you know, it's great. He's done his work, but it's not helpful to just submit his work in the post. So as I've said to him, can you please submit it through the assignments tab above? Because otherwise, everybody else will copy his work. And also I might 
your teachers might not see it if it's just posted in the general post. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at the assignments tab at the top. When I open that, you'll see that for this class, I've set two assignments, um, which are due to be uh, returned in about half an hour's time. So just for your awareness, it will tell you when that assignment is due. Um, and you can then click on it and you can work your way through your assignment. So if we have a look here, I click on that assignment. This is your teacher view. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a look at um, the student view. I just want you to be aware um, that your teachers can see who's actually looked at the work, who's turned the work in, and also who's not even bothered looking at the work. So I can see here that both Miss Campbell and Mr Cox have, finished, have looked at the work, so they're probably still working on it. Mr Fuller, Miss Ingram, Mr. Miss Pallant and Miss Watkins have actually turned the work in. But Mrs Davis hasn't even looked at it yet, so she's not got an awful lot of time um, to get cracking on with that work. So when you open it, this is what it looks like to you. So you will find a link to your assignment, which you open up and you can work through and then you can submit it to your teacher. The other thing to be aware of is the files tab. So anything that's not that's maybe useful for you to use, but isn't necessarily downloaded in the assignments or uploaded in the assignments tab, you might find it in here. So just have a look in there for any class materials that might be of any use. So it might seem like that was everything that you already know about, but I just want to make sure that people know exactly how to access those most basic of functions. So don't forget, open up your calendar so that you know what live lessons you've got for that day. When you look in your Teams, there'll be a little red notification if there's um, any um, activity or any assignments posted, things like that, and use that top bar to help you to um, find out what your assignments are to upload your assignments, but also to post anything important to your teachers. And then the last thing to draw your attention to, as I mentioned before, is that chat function. If you don't want the rest of your class to know that you don't really understand the work, then you can always ask your teacher using that chat function. Hope that's been hopeful, uh, helpful for you folks. Um, make sure you do ask any questions of your teachers if there's anything you're not sure about. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Okay, see you soon folks. Bye.